Today we're at Target getting ready for one of my favorite holidays, Valentine's Day. Well, now that we've picked out our goodies, we're gonna head home and do some super duper fun Valentine's Day activities. This year we decided to add a bit of a homemade element to our boxes too. So we're gonna make Valentine's Puppy Chow. Today we're at Target getting ready for one of my favorite holidays, Valentine's Day, and the kiddos are picking out their Valentine's cards and treats to hand out to their classmates. Oh, hey, look, Darth Vader. I don't see. Well, look, and he has glow sticks, like his lightsaber. Look, you get to get a glow stick. I want to get this because there's all different animals. There's like, let me see. A cats, Ooh, raccoons, raccoons, kitties, lions. There's all well, different this one animals. Is cute. There's cute neon cats. valentines with magnets. Do you see there's magnets in it? Yeah. Did you see there's Spider Man too? What are you thinking, Addie? This animal one. What is it called? 3D Pet Valentine's. That's cool. I think I did this I got two this years one ago. Last you did it two year. years ago? Yeah. I did this last year. Or we did it last year. I don't know. What did you decide on? Parachuting sharks. That's yeah, pretty neat. It's where you can parachute. You can parachute. Parachute. I think they're parachute. That's a fun toy. I think your classmates are going to love it. Parachuting sharks. Pretty cool. Now you can't just give the cards for Valentine's Day. You of course have to have the candy to go with it. So now we got to select the candy we're going to attach to our Valentine's Day card. Yeah. Good choice, bud. Am I? What are you doing? Fun dip? You did fun dip last year, didn't you? Yep. And Addie? Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Oh, that's a good idea. Now that we've picked out our goodies, we're gonna head home and do some super duper fun Valentine's Day activities. While the kiddos are busy putting together their Valentines, I wanna to talk to you specifically because you may have noticed that we haven't been posting on Tic Tac Toy as often as we used to. And I can tell you that is because we've taken a little bit of a break, but also because we have two exciting things coming. One is still top secret. The other involves a new channel called Camp Hideout. Now, we haven't started publishing on Camp Hideout yet, and I can't even tell you what it's all about, but I can tell you that you need to subscribe. So make sure you subscribe to Camp Hideout because we have really big, really cool things happening and you don't want to miss them. Holland, I think you're playing with all your parachuting sharks. Yeah, because that one broke. Uh oh, yeah, there's a couple on the floor and you have one in your hand and I see one opened over here. I'm a little bit worried that we're not gonna have any parachuting sharks to hand out to his friends. I think you're supposed to throw them up high or drop them from upstairs and see them parachute down. I can do it, I can do it. Mama, I can do it. You can do it? Okay, you go fly your parachuting sharks. Okay, let's see. Oh, there it goes! Woo! Samaya, so do your cards have fun dip and magnets on them? Yep. That's pretty cool. Can you show me one? Sure. This one, you would put the magnet right in here. Let me see the magnets. Oh, they're cute. Those the are really cats. cute. And then they also come with some mystery flavor fun dip. Yum, you love your fun dip, don't you? Yeah. Two years in a row doing fun dip for Valentine's. Yep. I'm surprised I haven't seen anybody eating fun dip or Skittles or Kit Kats. I kind of thought there'd be more eating of candy going on at this table than actually Valentining, but I don't think Valentining is a word. But they look busy Valentining. I think I gave you an idea, Addie. Yes, you did. <laughs> Diving into the fun dip already? Yeah. Our next activity for 
the evening is a super fun Valentine's Day tradition that we just started last year. And it's where we get to hug our friends, neighbors, or anyone that's special to us. And when I say hug, I don't mean that we literally hug them, but instead I mean we drop off a box full of Valentine themed goodies, treats, toys, and all sorts of trinkets as a fun surprise for them to uncover on their front porch. Okay, Maya, why don't you help me separate these boxes? Okay. We're gonna hug five people this year. Last year we did our neighbors, but I think this year we decided to do people that are part of our church group or our community group, and there are five other families, so five other families are gonna get some fun Valentine's Day boxes. Now, if you wanna bring this hugging tradition to your neighborhood, you can really get super creative, as creative as you want with what you put in your baskets. One fun idea that I've done in the past is to put everything you need to make Valentine's Day cupcakes. We'd put a fun cake mix, Valentine toppers, icing, Valentine sprinkles, plates, napkins, and that was a fun idea. But this year we decided to change it up just a little bit. So Maya, the first thing we're putting in the baskets are some books that I got at the bookstore. So we've got Mad Valentine's Day Mad Libs, which you love, right? Yes, I love Mad Libs. And then for some of our younger kids, we got a Llama Llama, Llama, Llama Valentine's baby. book, a Minnie Mouse one, and a Fancy Nancy. So why don't you go ahead and put one book inside each basket. Okay. Thank you, Maya. Then we have a nice grocery store near us, and when I was there the other day, I was eyeing all the delicious Valentine's Day treats, and I just had to buy some to put in our basket. So I got these jumbo Valentine's Day pretzel twists, which look amazing, and Valentine's Day Rice Krispie Treats, because I love Rice Krispie Treats. So Maya, you're gonna put one pretzel and one Valentine's Day heart into each basket, girly. Okay. Do you wanna help Colin? You can help too. Are you, do you have the fun dip? Oh, you're adding fun dip to the baskets? Thank you, thank you, helper. And since all these families have kids, I want to be sure and put some fun little Valentine's toys or knickknacks that could help keep them busy. We have slime, slinkies, and slap bracelets to put in. Think, which one do you think they'll like the most, Maya? The slinkies? I was gonna think the slime. These are cute slime. They're cupcake slime. I thought that looked really fun. And of course, Valentine's Day is all about candy. So we got yes. some candy to put in there too, didn't we girls? Yes, lots and lots of candy. These are my favorite, the Reese's Hearts. Anything chocolate and peanut butter, I can't get enough of. Same. You too, they girl. They are so good. <laughs> now the goal of hugging is setting off a chain reaction where we hug some people and then they each go out and hug other people so it spreads throughout an entire neighborhood. So it's really important that you put directions in with the boxes. Now I found these on Pinterest. You can just look up We've Been Hugged and I'm sure you'll find this and many other different varieties. And it gives all the directions that your neighbors or your friends will need so that they can continue the fun tradition throughout their neighborhood or with their friends. So what does it say, Addie? It says, you've been hugged. We hope you enjoy these special treats. Hang the sign, we've been hugged sign above your window. Now it's time for you to pass along the hugs. Grab some goodies, make a copy of this note, and surprise a few friends and neighbors. So this is why you hang on the door, so you don't get hugged twice, so it's fair for everyone else in your neighborhood. That's right, so all the neighbors will know that you've been hugged if that is hanging on your door. Yes. And they'll hug someone else instead. And when I started off, I like to give everybody multiple copies of both the instructions and the We've Been Hugged signs. That way not everybody has to go and make a bunch of copies of everything that's already done for them and it just makes it a little bit easier. This year we decided to add a bit of a homemade element to our boxes too. So we're gonna make Valentine's Puppy Chow. Yes. You girls love Puppy Chow, don't you? Yes. It's not real Puppy Chow. No. It's delicious treat you can make for any holiday, but we're gonna yes. put a Valentine's Day twist on it today. We've melted a half stick of butter, a 12 ounce bag of chocolate chips, and a cup of peanut butter together, and Addie's mixing it really thoroughly right now. Okay, Addie, are you ready to pour it over our crisp oh, cereal? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes, okay. I'll hold it here, 
And you just pour it in there, girl. I'm scared. <laughs> what if I drop it? <laughs> Now you have to stir as gently as you can so you don't break all the crispy cereal. This is hard. <laughs> it is a little tricky. It's like a giant bowl of cereal, <laughs> but with like no milk. So it's harder for that. It is a little break. tough, but you can do all it, right, girl. So you you got it. We have a pound of powdered sugar in this giant bag, don't we, Maya? Yes. Now we're gonna add the chocolate coated crispy cereal to the bag. Yep. For the fun part, we shake the bag so that our chocolate covered cereal is now covered with powdered sugar. Like your flipping pancakes, Maya. Yep. <laughs> this looks so good. What do you think, guys? It looks delicious. Amazing. What does that be for? I want a treat. Right you want now. some of it? I want it now. Well, it's not done yet because I did say it was a Valentine's Day puppy chow. It doesn't look very Valentine's -y yet, does it? Yeah. So we're gonna add some Valentine's M&Ms to make it Valentine's-y. And he's gonna give it a good stir for us. It's nicely mixed. Yes. Maya and Colin have volunteered to be my taste tester. This is think? so good. So good? Yeah. All right, Colin has a frown on his face. Let's see if we turn that frown upside down. What? We still have our frowny face. Oh, I see a smile there. I see a smile. He must like it. Oh. <laughs> so what do you think, Colin? It's yummy. It's yummy? Did you say yummy? Yes. I knew you thought it was yummy. Now Addie's gonna help me bag up the rest of this into some cute Valentine baskets. Ooh. We'll put them in the buckets and then we have to very sneakily try to deliver them all. Right, Addie? Because yes. we don't wanna get caught, do we? Yes. The goal is not to get caught. Mm -hmm. Cause that kinda takes the fun out of it. It's supposed yeah. to be a secret. Mm -hmm. All right, girl, let's get going. for watching Tic Tac Toy Family today. Don't forget to subscribe and we have to subscribe to our brand new channel called what? Camp Hideout. Camp Hideout. Make sure you do. Thanks for watching. What do we say? XOXO. Bye.